Hey guys, Lester here. Um, I hope everyone had a good break. Uh, I know I did. I'm sorry I haven't been on very much. Um, things have just been a little, little bit busy around here. But I've got a great new video today for you, and today we're going to draw Kathy from the comic strip. So, to start with, you want to get the basic outline of her face. And um, I, I apologize for this microphone. Um, I, I was borrowing one for a while, and then I guess its owner found it in my house. So um, I have to use this for a while, and I hope you don't mind. So I don't read the comic strips very much. Um, well, I mean that's I mean I like Ziggy. Ziggy's probably my favorite comic strip overall, but. Aside from that, I usually just kind of skip over it and just skip straight to the crossword and, you know, um, do the previous day's crossword with uh, help from the answers. And right. don't forget her ears, too. They're a little bit strangely drawn, but um, I mean, I like the source picture. All right, next are the eyes, which take up most of her face. So I think the appeal of a character like Ziggy is that he doesn't have all these weird, knobbly things all over the place, um, which Kathy seems to. And I, I think it's just kind of a better character when you can draw it without having to try very hard, um, like the cartoonist does every day for like 40 years or so. Same with... Um, same with Dilbert. Like, uh, that one's been going on for a really long time, and I, it just seems like the guy probably could have chosen better characters if he'd known he was going to have to dry every day forever. Probably the rest of his life. So, um, in the comments, if you could just write what you got for Christmas, I'd like to see that. I didn't get anything myself, but, um,. You know, I always just kind of like to see what people got. Alright, now these stripes are kind of weird. They're, they're, maybe they're like radio waves. I, well, I mean, I don't read this comic, so they could pretty much be anything as far as I know, but kind of draw them all over the place. You know, they got some stripe things coming out of the top of her ear. I think Dennis the Menace is also pretty good, um, just overall, like kind of consistently good writing in it. I think comic strips are kind of like watching a TV show every day, but um, but you're doing it for free. Well, I mean it's not free, you have to pay for the... Okay, so it's like a TV show that isn't free, and you read it in the newspaper and like one thing happens every day in it. And um... And uh, it's it's shorter than a TV show usually. Like it doesn't take me half an hour to read a comic strip, maybe all of them, but I don't do it very much. But um, unlike a TV show, it doesn't move very much. So I mean, it's kind of a worse deal overall. But you know, you can't really watch you know Snoopy on TV. Okay, so finish up the contours on this teddy bear here, which Kathy seems to be clutching for dear life. I mean, I don't know what's going on in this picture, but she seems pretty upset. Actually, um, in the comments, if you could just say your favorite TV show, your favorite comic strip, and your favorite, or thank, well, Andy, what you got for Christmas, it might kind of give some good insight into what kinds of people. Um, read newspapers and uh, watch TV and get Christmas presents. Um, just between you and me, it's probably mostly kids, but I know. Alright, so to finish this part, we finish up the mouth.
draw some pupils. And color the whole thing in. Let's, uh, she seems to be some sort of shade of orange, so we're going to want to get some orange in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, lighter color for the nose. Got this brown teddy bear thing. And there you have it. That is Kathy. So, um, I hope you'll watch soon. You know, keep those suggestions coming. I can't, uh, I can't always just think of everything on my own. And, um, Lester out.